What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name or Max as people know him in the real world and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a couple of sniping gameplays on Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, they're Blitz and SMD gameplays so enjoy that in the background. They're pretty good. So anyway getting right into it. Today's video is going to be answering the Q&A questions you guys left me. There are actually quite a few. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can so please be patient. If yours isn't answered I will definitely be responding to you at least through messaging. So Getting into it, first question comes from Goshi US, and he wants to know, are you going to be going to Columbus with, if you find a good team? What's tomorrow, and are you going to upload Nate spots? So, I will not be going to Columbus. I will not have money for it. There's, there's just no way, unless I got a team beforehand and we won a bunch of online tournaments so that we had money. I doubt that would happen, though. Um, what's tomorrow? I assume you mean what I'm going to be uploading tomorrow. If you mean the day, tomorrow is Wednesday for me. Um, and if you mean what I'm going to be uploading, I have no idea yet. It kind of depends if I can play the beta and stop and actually record something or if I'm going to record something right after this video and upload that tomorrow and then upload beta after that. We'll have to see how that goes. As far as uploading nade spots, um, I see no problem with doing that for Black Ops 3. I don't really see much point in doing it for Advanced Warfare though unless people really want that. So yeah, next question comes from Zenith, and he wants to know if I don't reach 100k subs by the end of the year or be successful, will you still upload videos? That is going to be an iffy thing, I don't really know. Um, 100k isn't, like the subscriber count isn't what really matters. What matters is the view count and how many people have ad block or not. Um, because this is going to be about the money, unfortunately, for me on whether or not I can continue. I would like to say that I'd be able to, but I, I think as long as we're somewhere in a ballpark area at the end of a year, I can keep going. And then, you know, as long as we're kind of staying on track with the goals, I can keep going with it. But we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, next question, we're moving over to YouTube now because most of the questions are on YouTube. Comes from Juke Summit, and he wants to know what four pro players would make the perfect team, in my opinion, and if I'm going to be switching to PS4. So, yes, I will be switching to PS4 once Black Ops 3 comes out. I'm just working on selling a couple things to get money for it. As far as the pro players, it's been a while since I've watched competitive, probably about eight months because it was longer before I even quit YouTube that I hadn't really kept up with the scene as much. But... From what I remember, I would pick probably Crim6 and Formal for AR Slayer main roles, and then Aix and TP um, to round out the team. I don't know what roles they play anymore. I would assume Crim6 and Formal are still ARs. I don't know about Aix and TP, but um, you know that's kind of the the team that comes to my mind. Next question comes from Melon Sage, and he wants to know. Did you end up convincing your parents that being homosexual wasn't just a phase? If so, how did you do it? I'm pansexual, essentially bi, but I'm not restricted to just guys or girls. Also, transsexuals, um, all that. And they're just saying it's just a phase. Okay, so I, I guess I convinced my parents. My dad didn't really need convincing. He pretty much knew for quite a long time. Um, my mom thought it was a phase, and I don't think she really thinks that anymore. It's more of just... She doesn't like it, um, you know, she thought it was a phase originally, but I've been going to counseling and things like that, and I think it's finally sinking into her that I am gay. She still thinks it's a choice, but she doesn't think that I'm going to choose differently now, I guess, is her kind of thing. As far as how to convince your parents, if they'll listen, show them scientific research. That's the best way. If they won't listen, you're just going to have to be yourself, and eventually they'll come around to at least accepting the fact that it is what you are um so yeah i'm sorry but good luck with that next question comes from yakub boybe and he wants to know how he can improve awareness and aim he says he always gets killed from behind and choke shots when i get nervous or doubt myself okay so main things there um you need to be working on confidence in yourself and probably confidence in your team um a lot of that is just going to come from playing together get that team chemistry up Awareness, start making sure you're paying attention to the minimap, communicate efficiently, do call outs, all that fun stuff. Um, getting killed from behind, again, that comes back to awareness and choking shots. Um, improving aim and all that, you can go into you know, a free-for-all with your teammates or with bots, put it on double health, put it on headshots only, and go to 200, 300 kills. And, you know, th that doesn't take too long, really, but 
doing that really can help your aim improve um, I mean that's what I kind of did you could also turn off aim assist and practice like that for a couple weeks and then turn it back on those are good ways to do it and you will definitely feel a lot more confident in yourself when you turn that aim assist back on so those are a couple things you can do next question comes from dr. drop shot and he wants to know what my parents thought about gaming and how to get them to stop moaning about it so um, my dad doesn't necessarily understand it but at the same time he does he was actually he didn't do gaming but he did foosball and he was actually eighth in the world at one point so he knows about competitive sports at least um, and with his so his thing was he, he kind of got it pretty quick my mom understands the game more but you know she's more concerned about it as far as making a living and dropping out of school and things there's really no way to get them to stop being concerned but the bit the best things you can do is show them some respectable youtubers show them some events and things that go on show them the kind of earnings that people can get from this and then lay out a plan show them that you have maturity and responsibility as far as how you're going to go about it uh you know how you're going to start making money or making more money uh start winning things like that and once you actually start reaching some of those goals they will be less and less concerned about you so it will that that's the best advice i can give on that Next question comes from Ali Robinson, and he wants to know, do you play for an organization yet? Possibly. It depends. I'm still working on teaming and stuff. There's been some personal things going on with a couple people I want to play with that is preventing anything from really moving forward right now. Uh, some pretty serious stuff, but there's a couple different people I'm looking at, a couple different organizations, but the main one I'm looking at is getting back under flight. Love that organization. Really hope I can do it. Next question comes from McDonald's, and he wants to know if you had a million dollars and the chance to move wherever you wanted and buy whatever you wanted, how would it end? So I would move to either California or Canada. Um, I, I really like the idea of moving to Canada, but it's probably a little bit too cold for me. But at the same time, I really want to kind of snowboard and stuff too. So I don't know. That's a possibility. And then California would just be great because that's where all the YouTubers are pretty much. And, you know, they've got some skiing and snowboarding stuff there. they got nice beaches. So, and a lot of gay people too. So, I mean, those are kind of the, the areas that I'd probably want to move. As far as using the money, I would buy all the equipment I need. So, all the fancy YouTube recording equipment, all the gaming equipment. And then I would probably, from there, just use money to invest, um, upgrade internet, and the rest probably give to charity. I mean, you want to have some investment so it can keep growing and everything, but... I would definitely want to give to charity. There's several different charities I have in mind, and that's actually something I'd like to do later when we get a little bit bigger here on this channel. Um, maybe start doing some charity live streams and stuff like that. So that's something that I might be doing. Next question comes from XC Ninja. He wants to know um, how did you, how and when did you start realizing that you were gay? Hope this doesn't offend you. No, it's completely fine. A um, little bit hard to say exactly there wasn't like an exact moment especially since i was so much in denial of it but i mean the main thing is probably just starting to realize that i was you know looking at guys i was i wasn't really looking at girls i was always comfortable around girls and i didn't pick up a lot of the clues when girls really liked me um also i mean i did watch some porn and it was straight porn but i was focusing a lot more on guys instead of girls within the straight porns so yeah <laughs> um yeah so next question comes from chucky eu and he wants to know how did your family react to the news you were gay dad took it pretty well brother was a little bit surprised but he wound up taking it okay and then he was like i knew it i knew it because he always teased me about being gay so he had a little bit of fun with it and then my mom didn't take it all that well Took it better than I thought, though, but, um, you know, she doesn't really want to look at the science behind it, and she thinks it's a choice, a sin, those sorts of things, but we're, you know, getting along still somewhat. I mean, it's tense, but it, it still works out pretty well. Next question comes from Oliver Swift. He wants to know, do you play wagers? If so, what are your earnings? I do play wagers. Hardly ever, though. Um, I've played, like, four wagers. They were all $1 ones. I won three of them. The main reason is because of the internet and also because we were learning the game at the time, you know, for Advanced Warfare. So we were focused on doing a lot of scrimming. We were trying to scrim some top AM teams and stuff like that. So wagers weren't quite as important to us. 
I will be getting back into wagers though, especially once I upgrade the internet. I'd love to do some ten, twenty dollar wagers and start winning some stuff like that. Uh, next question comes from job, team. Get ready for the next Jebby round. Designs, who happened to make my header and my profile pic and a new outro that I'm going to be trying on this video. So shout out to him. But he wants to know if I'll be able to play with subscribers in the Black Ops 3 beta, even if they're from Europe. I want to say that this is like a 99% yes to this question. Um, first day, probably first two days actually, I'll be spending uh, by myself playing or with people that I know personally. I'll probably open it up after that and play with some of you guys if you guys want to do that. Um, just mainly because I need to explore a few things, make some videos by myself, um, that sort of thing. And then we can kind of settle in and just kind of have some fun with the beta after that. As far as the from Europe part, yeah, definitely. I've, I've played with multiple people from Europe, so it should be fine. Although the beta will probably have some lag issues from time to time, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, next question comes from Herbie Thackham. He wants to know, how old am I? I am 18, almost 19. I turn 19 in September. Um, Damiani Blez wants to know, how do you determine the right organization to join? Uh, things to look at, you want to look at how long ago the organization was established, how well known are they, uh, look at the growth of their media as far as their Twitter, YouTube, that sort of thing. You know, how quickly has it grown? Um, how do people interact with them? Do people respect them? Do they not like them? Those sorts of things. Um, look at the people within the organization. You know, what are their qualifications? Um, how friendly are they? A huge thing for me is the friendliness and the interaction. Um, you know, I'm willing to join organizations that aren't as well known if I feel like the community of it is a lot better. Those sorts of things are really important to me. So yeah. Next question comes from Liam Infamous and he wants to know a couple things. Uh, what would I like to be uploading and will I be grinding competitive to become known or to get gameplays? So first question there was what would I like to upload? Um, I like to upload Call of Duty obviously but there are a lot of other games that I'd really like to upload. Um, I'd like to upload things like Outlast. You guys would probably enjoy it because I'd probably break everything because I would scream and throw it um, for hard game type stuff. I'd also like to play Smite, League of Legends, Combat Arms. Um, there's, several, there's several other little games like that, but a lot of those are on PC. And a lot of them I'm not really that good at because I, I spend 99% of my time on Call of Duty. So, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see how that sort of thing goes. Uh, second question there, I will be grinding competitive to become known. That is the main goal. However, right now the focus is mainly on YouTube because that's where I'm looking at probably getting most of my income. Um, I may focus a little bit more on competitive when Black Ops 3 comes out because if I can learn the game quicker than other people, then I can you know play the tournaments and win some money from that a little bit easier. Uh, then in, later in the game when everybody knows everything about the game, no matter how much time you really put into it at that point. Uh, another question from McDonald's was, before you quit school, what were you going to major in and where? Um, I was at a community college, but I was planning on moving to UCLA and majoring in biology, probably something specifically to deal with genetics. Um, I did have a 4.0 GPA if anybody's interested, but you know, school just wasn't quite what I was really looking for. Um, and yeah, those are all the questions. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.